Do you like wood? Do you like artisan wood? Then you're gonna love the new artisan wood series by Rough Rider. Woo! I got two new Rough Riders. I've had them for about two weeks now, maybe a week and a half, something like that. Uh, and I'm reviewing them now. I've been really busy. I should have reviewed them last week and I just didn't get to it. But I'm gonna show you the two I got. Guess what? I like them. But let's get into the boxes real quick. The marketing game is on point over at Rough Rider. Smoky Mountain Knife Works does a hell of a job with their marketing. They have the magnetic boxes, the nice foam liners right here. What a wonderful way to display a knife. And uh, on this one is a little bit bigger. Oh, right there. Foam sits in there. Nice finger. Nice display boxes. Magnetic too. Ooh, fancy. I like it a lot. And I'm going to talk about these boxes uh, a little further in the video. Let me show you the knives real quick. Oh. Boom. Look how pretty these are. They are simply gorgeous. They are the video might not do it justice because I do all my videos on my phone. And if you want to see more in-depth pics, go check out my Instagram page at one big pikey selfless promotion. Uh, I got some really good photos of these knives. The, the photo ability, the photogenic ability, I should say, on these knives are amazing. They photograph very, very well. And there's depth in the handle. And there is complexity in this color. Which, for any Instagram geek like myself or Instagram junkie, this is amazing. They photograph beautifully. So that's a bonus for me. Okay. So all the aesthetic, everything aside, aesthetically, these knives are just, they're, they might be the prettiest Rough Riders out there. I'm just calling it the scales on this. Now on their website, it did say Burl Wood. Then on, guy, on an episode of Guys Talk Knives, they said that it's not genuine Burl Wood, but it's dyed to look like burl wood, the dye job's beautiful. I mean, just all the way through, they are genuine wood right there. They have the shield slant our bolsters. This is obviously the canoe. Both of these knives, now I'll talk about the moose here in just a minute. Both of these knives are $14.99 at smkw.com. So check that out. That's the other side of this. What? Just nickel, nickel bull. Oh, Ooh, it's pretty. But the scales are amazing. They remind me truly of like a watercolor painted by Bob Ross. Like if he was going to mimic a, a nice green lake with that, like that's just like that nice peaceful moss. There's browns, there's yellows, there's light greens, dark greens. Everything about this, I can't talk about the handle enough. If you are into aesthetically pleasing knives, these are second to none. I'm telling you, they are pretty. Hopefully you can see the absolute gorgeousness of this through the video. The Slanar Bolsters, I like, uh, it is a nice accent to the knife. I know Slanar bolsters are kind of a love-hate relationship in the uh, slip joint community as far as when Rough Rider started doing it. I think it is a very smart way to just, and my name's Ryan, so, you know, it's my initial. I like it. I think it's a smart way to either hide the pin on the bolster and it's a uh, it's like their their signature touch. They they want to be unique, and I I like it. I like it a lot. Let's uh, check out the 
the action of this bad boy. Half stop. Oh, nice. Clickability. It's a good snap. It's a good snap. The pull is around a four or five. It's nothing like, oh my God. It's a it's not a nail breaker. The action is buttery smooth. Buttery smooth on this. Now I will say that this Rough Rider is hands down, hands down the best fit and finish I have ever seen on a Rough Rider in my entire career of collecting Rough Rider knives. Or it, it's not the it's not up there with GEC, but it surpasses case in a lot of case knives. There is zero gapping. If you do it to the light test, there is zero gapping on this canoe. The fit and finish is amazing. Nothing sticks out. It is smooth. The slant, there the slanted bolsters blend in with the wood scales just perfectly. Zero gaps. They, they there's a home run, man. They knocked this out of the park. And for $14.99, I honestly don't know how you guys do it. I don't know how you do it. It is 440A razor sharp steel. Do I got a piece of paper? I do not because I failed you. They are extremely sharp. Half stops on the secondary blade. Good, good snap on the secondary blade too. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous knife. I'm really surprised these aren't sold out yet because they should be sold out. As far as, I mean, the swedge on there is just Oh, I love a good swedge. Match, match, strike, nail, nail neck right there. Sorry, car drove past me and got distracted. A little ADHD. Uh, what just, I mean, oh, I can't get over. I can't get over the aesthetics of this knife. What a beautiful knife. And what just beautifully well built for $14.99. You're crazy if you don't buy one of these right there. Oh, that's a good angle. You like that? Mmm. And who doesn't like a good canoe pattern? I can't wait for a rainy day so I can take this out and get a good canoe picture. I love taking pictures of canoes on rainy days. Something about the canoe and the rain and just, you know, that's who I am. But it's, it's simply just a beautiful beautiful knife you can't go wrong with the canoe i mean I'm, I'm just gonna say this is the best built rough rider that i have now i i view the rough rider workman's knife as the creme de la creme of rough riders as far as durability and the modern slip joint area to me this looks like a traditional slip joint but that bright green and those dye colors there's a modern touch to this that is, it, it is modern meets traditional meets aesthetically pleasing to all. You pull this out of your pocket, you are going to grab attention from a lot of knife guys. And they might not even know it's a Rough Rider at first. They're going to go, hey man, what's that? And a lot of people are surprised what they're doing. If this is the standard Rough Riders producing in 2020, we are in for a treat for collecting traditional knives. That's my review on the canoe. Now I got, boom. Oh, there's some blues in here. Look, at that. I'm gonna remain calm because you guys don't like me all excited, even though I've had two energy drinks today. So I'm kind of hyper. Uh, oh, the blues and the greens and the browns in this. Whew. I love a good moose pattern, I really do. I bought the, the Rough Rider Red Pick Bone, which is such a hidden gem. If you haven't even looked at that knife, you really should because I got it in. They were running a sale. It was like eight bucks with free shipping. Sent it right to my house and it was just gorgeous. And I fell in love with the shape. I fell in love with the moose pattern because of this blade. I think it's called a Texas Skinner. Don't nail me to the wall with that. I'm not very certain of the actual blade name of this. I'm not an expert on knives. I'm just an enthusiastic knife collector and I really like the budget slip joint area, even though I have more expensive ones. 
Rough Rider makes it affordable and fun and they produce a great product so I can keep collecting knives without breaking my bank or my wife getting mad at me, right? All right, so let's get into this. I will say on the moose, there is a small gapping issue here. The moose is $14.99, just as the canoe. There is a small gapping issue right on the top here, but honestly, it is it is almost nitpicky to point that out, but there is, you know, you want to critique somehow. Let's wipe off my, my fingerprints. Also on both of these, the brass liners matched up against that wood with the back spring. What just an amazing classy accent uh, Rough Rider did with that. It is simply gorgeous. None of the pins the brass pins, none of them stick out of the wood. They remain flush and smooth with the wooden scales. Both half stops. Let's shut this and open her back up. Half stops, great on this moose. The snap is great. I don't feel like it's going to close on me too bad. Now, these are everyday EDC knives. And... I've been saying it before, you're not going to need a super steel, at least in my opinion, you know, you're not going to need a super steel on a traditional slip joint. That's, you're just not going to need it. Would it be fun to have it? Of course, but it's, it's really unnecessary. I'm cutting open envelopes with this, opening up boxes, maybe cutting open an apple. Like I'm, I'm, I'm not a hard user on knives. Okay open up the other blade they're the secondary blade Ooh, man it's so snappy you guys are really nailing the, the the springs on here rough riders really nailing the springs here you know why i like this blade shape it's because it's like a pocket cheese knife and i like cheese that's why i like that shape and it's just fun to hold i mean you, you got your thumb right there that swedge that goes all the way back that's a pretty, pretty blade shape right there. Show you these scales a little further. See if I can get my phone to focus just a little more. There we go. We got some depth. Oh, buddy, I'm telling you, this, these knives are going to surprise a lot of people when you start seeing them all over your Instagram feed and you're going to see them on SMK Army uh smoky mountain knife works knife page and you'll probably see them on slip joint manifesto if you're not members of those groups go be a member of these groups and i will say when i come back to these boxes which i'm going to talk about right now how well did they nail the scales to the box i mean that's really accurate that is surprisingly accurate for when you see that box to what you get that is really nice these knives, I will say, it reminds me of, of Bob Ross just like designed the box and then dyed these knives for us. And uh, yeah, I, I love them. They are simply great buys. For $14.99, you can't go wrong with these. Hopefully you enjoy this review. I just like showing you these knives. I'm just an enthusiastic knife collector and I really enjoy Rough Rider. So you'll see many more of them, okay? So go check these out. The Artisan Wood Series by Rough Rider. Smoky Mountain Knife Works sells both of these for $14.99 a piece. You can go check them out. Ooh, the pinch bolsters too. I forgot to show you that. Look at that right there. A little pinchy pinch. That's nice. I like it. But go check these out. They are well-built, surprisingly well-built. And I'll say it once, I'll say it again, in case you guys are in trouble. If Rough Rider keeps doing this, they're going to make a lot, a lot of higher end slip joint uh, companies scared or jealous. And that's my review. Thank you guys for liking, clicking, subscribing. Let me know your thoughts. If you have one, let me know what you guys think of it. Please be respectful. I'm just an enthusiastic guy. I just like being online and showing you guys what I get. And maybe you will enjoy it when you get it too. All right. 
So thank you. Please share with your friends. Please tell a buddy. Come on over. Uh, muchly appreciated. I will be back hopefully next week with another bourbon review. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to do yet, but please stay tuned to that and uh, have a wonderful, wonderful Thursday. Bye.